Well, hello everybody. Welcome back again. I got a new project and it's um, acid washing, cleaning, getting rid of the, the, the old sealer uh, and beautifying this back patio. It's, it's actually less than probably a year old. And way back when I, pour, I poured it, so you can look back at uh, some of those prior videos, uh, way back when I poured it. Um, when I poured it, I, prayed, I sprayed a cure sealer on it. And the reason that I did that was I was gonna cover it with plywood so they can keep doing the, the siding and other parts of the home build, and I didn't want it to get damaged. So, and this was wet back in December, uh, so the winter time. And what happened was, and which is notorious for um, exposed aggregate, which is what this is, is that it, the moisture was trapped in it and when it started coming through it discolored the sealer which gave it this kind of like almost ashy uh white you know kind of kind of look to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a, a cure sealer remover and i'm going to strip it off then I'm going to acid wash it, get it all clean and everything uh, the way it needs to look because uh, frankly some of this exposed aggregate needs to get cleaned up some more. And in addition to that, I'm going to be patching. There's a few spots that I need to patch. Like here, uh, there was a hole over here. Looks like it, it had some mud when, on our feet when we were, we were uh, uh, finishing it and uh, it's come to the surface. So. Uh, and so we're gonna I'm gonna take care of that so you can see that process and then when that's all complete looking good nice and dry I think I'm gonna seal it so it's important to seal concrete for stains and that sort of thing uh, the process here uh, I felt at the time that uh, I was doing the right steps but uh, you know like a lot of things you can take care of it and fix in a sense or uh, take care of later so that's where we're at so let's go ahead and get started uh, I went ahead and I pressure washed everything just to get the dirt grime kind of stuff off of it uh, there's actually a little bit of an oil from there from my pressure washer actually right here and right there uh, I'm hoping that uh, care sealer will take care of <laughs> so we'll see what that looks like too cross my fingers don't tell anybody uh, yeah, so let's get the, let's, first off, let's get that cure sealer off of there. All right, starting with the process, I'm going to use this uh, Prosico. It's a cure sealer remover, high powered. Uh, what it says is to put it right in like a sprayer, spray right to it, let it sit for five or ten minutes, agitate it a little bit with a brush uh, and that sort of thing. And then any sealer that's kind of, uh, gummed up at the top uh, remove either with water uh, it also said you can use a, a shop vac so I got that ready uh, if I need to so I can suck up what I any residual on the surface and then then I can wash it off so I'm going to start with a, a kind of a more inconspicuous cor corner uh, you know just to make sure there's nothing that uh, uh, isn't quite right with it so Start there, see how that's uh, acting, and then continue on throughout the, the patio. So here we go. All right, so after using the Prosecor, I wasn't too happy with it. It looks to me like it just <clears throat> re-emulsified the, the sealer. Some of it, I think, probably got off, but I'm still, I'm still needing that sealer completely off as much as possible so that when I go to acid wash it, it's not uh, taking off areas that I 
don't want and or not a uniform kind of kind of process so i kind of need more of it off so i'm gonna switch gears and not use this prosecor and i'm gonna switch over to xylene so got a few gallons i know i'm gonna have to go to the store and get more if i'm gonna end up using that for all of it uh, by the way i do know that this white is from the sealer because i did some test areas with some xylene and uh it got rid of that white that was the the moisture that was trapped in it so sometimes it happens so then you got to deal with it and that's what we're doing so uh let's uh get started on our xylene portion so when dealing with uh, xylene it's a pretty aggressive chemical hazardous so make sure you're using a chemical respirator uh, eye protection i'm also going to wear some gloves so in case it splashes on my hands, that sort of thing, it's not, uh, not hurt my skin. When I go to use the pressure washer, so once this, uh, I agitate it some, I'm gonna be pressure washing and trying to get rid of it. And uh, uh, I think a floor pressure washer, one of those round ones, that would probably be better than my regular pressure washer, but that's that's what I got and, and uh, we'll see. So uh, I'm gonna put the part for this. Uh, xylene into a chemical safe can sprayed on so it gets like a good uniform coating and maybe if I scrub it a little bit and then pressure wash it so after it sets for a few minutes Well, the cure sealer remover is all all down. You can see, maybe you can see a little bit of a difference. So I would imagine not 100% of it's off. Uh, what I found to work best is not that Prosecco. It was actually xylene. Uh, I could actually see it being removed in chunks. Uh, it was all kind of clumping up here on the edges. So next, what I'm gonna try is the acid washing. Uh, that's gonna help get rid of this this discoloration that's there uh, working in that upper area for now so that the acid rolls downhill so then I'm not having to pressure wash over and over and over and over and over again uh, to get it all cleared off so starting up there see how it works see how it does uh, if it if I'm not getting that result that it's uh, looks like it's eating at the cement because that's what uh, what I'm after if it's not looking like that then i'll stop doing that and i'll have to do another coat of xylene so to get more of that uh, cure sealer off so this will be the process um, i'm going to be using a little garden sprayer because it's plastic uh, you can't use uh, the muriatic acid um, which i'm using a muriatic acid i'm also using the sure clean which works as well i've used that before i know that works essentially it's muriatic acid and so be using either one will probably work just just fine it's a dilution uh so the dilution rate that'll be will be about a five to one so pretty pretty aggressive 
um, seemed to work pretty good on that last one. Had to do several, several coats, probably at least five or six good scrubbing. So I'll spray it, scrub it, hose it off, and then keep going. So that's going to be the process. And uh, you'll see after a while, this is going to look really, really good when I'm all done. Well, maybe you can already tell the difference. That swath right there has been cleaned once. This swath has not. So you can see all like there's that little bit of cement residue that's just kind of sc scattered throughout. Well, this right here, it doesn't have that. So that's what we're after. It also helps get rid of effluorescence and that sort of thing. That's that salts, crystals that get trapped in, the, in there and then it comes to the surface and all at once and it kind of gives it like a white whitish kind of kind of hue to it so i think uh it's kind of a combination of all those things so uh right now i think that was probably somewhere around uh, five to one uh ratio i think i'm gonna increase the uh i'm gonna probably make it like four to one type of thing uh, a little bit more aggressive uh and and that sort of thing and then and then keep keep going so I'll spray this. I'll probably lap over, spray that a, a second time as I keep going and uh, kind of leapfrogging back and forth. As I go ahead one, I go back one, go ahead one, go back one, section anyhow. So that is gonna be my process. All right, so after acid washing the patio, looks much, much better. And I went ahead and patched, patched it. So I'll show you a couple of the patches. There's a patch right here to kind of get that a little better. And this area right in here was really bad. Uh, that was when I started tooling it when it was a little too dry and chipped it out. But anyhow, uh, how I went about doing it was I had some Acryl 60, which is a, a, a bonder. Uh, it's like a glue and you can mix it in a little bit with the water as well. And it was about a 2% dye to cement uh, kind of ratio. And that's about what this this was. We, it was a charcoal color. And I, and I mixed up with some sand and uh, applied it here. Uh, here I still need a go acid wash it and then it'll all blend in really nice. And then there was a couple spots, some holes over here. Those there blend in really, really nice, especially with the sand, some spots over here. Uh, I might go ahead and I think there was a couple spots over there, but in all, it's not too bad. 
that what's left is these big cracks right here which they're cracked right where i need it but they're separating so i'm going to probably go ahead and caulk that with a good uh, exterior caulking as well as this one here that way water can shed off rather than going right into the crack and probably not doing too good of stuff if it does that for another season so in all that's uh that's the process the patio and it looks pretty darn good much happier with it than than i was uh, most things that we do in construction you can fix if something goes wrong worst case i guess you you tear it out and do it do it again but uh that's not going to be the case here so what i got left is my sidewalk going around in the front doing that uh acid washing that and actually i gotta strip the sealer off then acid wash it and then uh, later on i'll come back and i'll spray on a sealer so um i gotta decide whether or not there's more patching that i want to do though so before i do that because i don't want to have to strip off the sealer again that'd be that'd be crazy so all right that's it hopefully you enjoyed uh the process of cleaning up this back patio making it look a little better happier with it now um and moving on to some other projects so see you next time on the home build